ZO6, we've only had it for a few days. Before we take it and go race it a lot and put a whole bunch of miles on it, we're gonna go ahead and get paint correction done and a full clear bra on it. So they're loading it up now to get it done. All right guys, so over here at American Detail, um, known Greg for a long time. He sent us many cars to build. We take care of all the performance work, as y'all know. Um, so you, those of you looking to uh, ship your cars to us for performance packages, know that we do also offer this service as well, which is uh, paint correction, PPP, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna leave it up to him to explain to you kind of what goes into this. These cars that we build, that y'all send to me, um, the amount of money that we're putting into them, these are $100,000, $200,000 plus vehicles, uh, in my opinion. The customers like y'all that are actually using them on the street or the track, um, you want to protect the paint. At least for me, and on my own personal car, he's done every single one of them, from my car to my wife's car. So to me, for the money that you're spending, A, to get the performance out of it, you also want to protect the paint. So when you are out racing it a lot, it looks good three months from now or a year from now. But again, I don't know much about this stuff, so when it comes to the detail stuff, I'll let Greg uh, kind of explain to you the processes of what they do here from start to finish, and hopefully we can show you all some shots of it uh, as we go through here. So what I would do to your car, Steven, on um, this go around is obviously the first part of this is we do a very extensive detail. Whenever you're doing film, um, you cannot have any trash in there. It's kind of like an iPhone screen. If you were to put that protector on there, you've got one little piece of dust underneath there. It now looks like a piece of rope underneath there because it just intensifies it almost like a magnifying glass. We go in here, we're pressure washing all these little edges. We've got uh, little detail brushes. We've got some- And is this start, sorry, does this start at the very beginning when the first this car is shows very up? first part of this. So this is in the car wash stage, we'll call it, right? Correct. Okay. Um, we've got a pretty elaborate uh, wash bay back there with uh, some, I guess, proprietary stuff that we do that's a lot different than most. Gotcha. Um, and then once we got everything surgically clean, we take it uh, in here to our paint correction bay, and then we're going to do a paint correction. What that's doing is it's taking a microscopic level of the clear off, because um, GM is just trying to bang these things out. We're then refining it um, by shaving that top layer, which is any like little fine swirls because um, the dealership, maybe they washed your car, ran it through automatic car wash or dry wiped the car, which is going to put little swirls in it. And any of you guys know, even if you have a brand new car, which some people do call us and when we offer this to them, they're like, oh, the car's brand new. I really don't need it. Or I only have 3000 miles on. It, I really don't need it. Um, I've seen in person once they clean them and once even ourselves, the factory paint is never perfect. I don't care what they say or how good you think it kind of looks from far away. Up close, there's scratches in it. There's still a uh, uh, peel in it. The orange peel you can still see from the factory. So I assume we'll show you we get rid of one. all of that, no matter how new the car is. We'll show you this Z07 over here in a second, the, yeah. exactly what we're talking about. Okay. It's a good brand call. new, came in on with Steven's car. Yeah, um, and it's got yeah we brought him, yeah, the black one as well. And black, obviously, you see a lot more, and that's another reason why the paint correction, this film is so important, at least in my opinion. Um, but then our next process, like I said, we do uh, the full paint correction to the car, and then it comes back for it. So that, it, then that does, that takes out all the scratches, right? Yes. And pretty much makes the paint look as flawless as can be. Right, we're adding field of depth, color depth to it. Um, kind of like old school television of 1080p, versus 8K television now of the look of what the car is. Um, and then it goes through another um, procedure where we're re-prepping the car to get all the oils and stuff off of the vehicle. Um, and then it goes over there to the film part. So the reason I'm assuming for the, get all the oils and other stuff off, that's so that the film will then stick to the vehicle. The film right? and then the bonding of the ceramic coating also. We have our plotter, we have 264 inch plotters here at our shop. Did everything is custom cut, um, like particularly this car right here, we had to go in and move some edges around because the vehicle is so new that it, it, the, the patterns just didn't work right now. Plus I want as much protection as I can give you on the front of this car because that's where you're going to get the most brunt of rock chips and bugs and things of that nature. Here on I-10, if anyone knows y'all in Houston, that's rock chips and bugs like crazy. So any of you guys driving on the interstates, got to have it. So something that we do a little bit different, um, to me, it's not just about protection, it's about aesthetics also. Um, most shops will leave like a 16th of an inch gap all the way around exposing every edge of your vehicle. Well, what that's gonna do is that's a cleaning nightmare for you. 
You're gonna have to go in here and like a Q-tip and smile call and clean all those. What we do is we roll and wrap all these edges the way they're underneath that you don't see any of these. Because if anymore. you don't, I've, I've had a car that was like that before, it will leave a dust mark on the corners of all the little crevices, if that makes sense. I've, I've, that, that's what you're saying, right? Right, exactly. You have to go, after done washing your car, you literally have to wash to, to get what people were anal with our cars uh, to make it 100% clean again. And so yeah, wrapping it around the whole thing prevents it from letting dust build up at all the corners. When you first got here, you were asking me, what did you film? Right. That's the idea of yeah, what I did. Work. When yeah. I showed up, I was like, what part got filmed? Just because it looked so good, you don't see the edges like I have seen in other people's work, I should say. And what package we do, we call this the track package. So all of this front end is done, the hood, the front bumper. We did the mirror backs. We did these A pillars, this roof valence right here. We did all of these rocker, lower rockers right here along the car. So any place that's going to get a, a impacted by a rock, Steve is gonna burn this car out when he's testing yep. this. So all of this rubber coming back here, this is all protected back here. Um, so it looks like they have it set right here and right here. And again, I asked them specifically for that because as you guys know, we're going to be drag racing this car, uh, maybe some road racing, but doing burnouts and launching it, rubber just fills up this and also inside the fender wheel. But at least this will protect the paint to keep it easier to then wipe off once we're done after the drag strip. And if this gets damaged over time because you burning out, we just simply take that piece off, and put a new piece on there, and it looks brand new again. Awesome. So you can't even tell it's there. You really can't. And then once that is actually complete, which is the, what we're fixing to start right now, so we've prepped this car, it hasn't even been coated, and it's this shiny right now. That's due to the paint correction. So will, will the coating? The coating, it, it'll make it shinier. On really? There. And it actually cures out over about 14 days, the car will become shinier and shinier okay. um, over this. And that's what my guys are about to, to start right now. And what we're gonna put is a fireball uh, five-year coating. Uh, we have used every coating that is out there on the market right now. Fireball puts a tremendous amount of SiO2s, which is actually your ceramic coating. That's What's the, the SiO2? That is your glass components of okay. the ceramic coating. Gotcha. And then titanium, that they put a lot of that in there as well, which will help with wash marks on this car. So when you do wash the car, it will resist the typical wash marks is what we call them gotcha. in there. Gotcha. So bug etching, so we'll actually surround the coat over your film also, so that it's protected just as the rest of the car is, and it makes it very, very hydrophobic. Um, so again, when you're washing this car, it's super easy for you to wash the car. It's easy to maintain, so the bird was the poop right here. It's yep. not gonna etch in that clear coat anymore. It's protected. The ceramic coating, coating protects it. Exactly. Very cool. And like you said, he is ceramic coating then over the clear as well. So just to give it that extra shine, I, I assume, and right. in protection from Absolutely. washing it just from the water marks to have the water just rinse right, rinse right off of it. And kind of top it off, uh, what we did is we did a uh, full ceramic tint on this car. So tint's come a long way these days. We use only ceramic in this shop. Um, old school, we used to use uh, dyed film. This is actually a dual layer of ceramic tint on here. Um, so, say this windshield, we did a little bit of a tint on yours, yep. uh, which is a 50% to give it that look, but we can have a clear film that's going to block 98% of the UV rays coming in to protect that dash, keep that heat coming off of you if you're at a red light. Does that go over the windshield? No, nope, it's under, it's the, it's the, it's what they call tint now, but again, this is not, it, it is tint, but um, that clear film, we can do that, or we can have a tint. Gotcha. The shade now is only for privacy. Gotcha. I, can I, 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 I like the tint. Um, I like the car to look good, so we did, you said what, a 50 in the front? 50 right? um, is the light transmission is how this is red and, and tint. Gotcha. Um, and then 15 on the sides. And some of you that watch our videos, the black C8 that we did recently with the Pro Charger on it that looks like the Batmobile, his was like a 35%. And man, it looks really good. Uh, don't get me wrong, at car shows or car events, it looks super cool, but at nighttime, since we are having some fun when we're at the drag strip racing, I want to be able to make sure we can see well. So I went ahead and did a 35, no, we did 50% on this one, this so time. I can actually see a little bit better at nighttime. Because his car, I've, I've driven his car at nighttime, and it's hard to see being that dark. So to me, that looks absolutely perfect. Um, and then again, like I said, we top off everything. Uh, this actually got us, it's getting a ceramic coating on the windshield also. Okay. Um, I'm sure you're not be riding this around in the rain, but if you did get caught in a rainstorm, you're not going to use these windshield wipers. So you're going to be wondering why you can see and everybody else can't. Water. Is it just water just 
Awesome. So awesome. So it looks like y'all are done with this. Next step, ceramic coating. Yep. Awesome. I'll let y'all get to it. So, cool. They're sending your cars to us for performance packages now. Um, as always, we've offered this for a couple years now. We've been working with Greg. Uh, just know it is something I highly recommend, um, especially our customers that do drag race a lot, that do road race a lot, um, that do put a lot of miles on their car to keep the car protected. Um, so years down the road, the car still looks like a brand new vehicle. And even if three years down the road you decide to sell your vehicle and you are a road race guy, and it has, so I've, I've owned a, my 06 Viper, had this done to it. The front end was beat up. The clear bar looked horrible after road racing it for probably a year and a half. I went to sell the vehicle, ripped that clear bra off. The paint looked brand new. So to me, it's a great investment on your $50,000 car or your $500,000 car. Either way you look at it, it protects the car, protects the paint, keeps the car looking good for now or five years from now. So I appreciate everything. Absolutely. And again, guys, you local guys that are in Texas, and if you're not, uh, if you already have performance work done uh, by us, or you don't even want performance work and you just want to protect your car, also hit us up, and uh, we'll get you squared away.